You know what guys, I'm gonna quickly do another video with the Ultimate Christmas Compendium. Um, people have been asking about it, obviously I did the unboxing, I tried some of the embossing folders, but there are other items in here, and I know you can barely see the thing. <laughs> trying to get this wrapper off of it, I told you guys I always like to keep the belly band thing on it. Um, and so I think, well I'm waiting for my FedEx guy to show up, I know I talk like you guys are with me here in real time. I have a cherry on top uh, order coming in. Uh, through FedEx and they always come a little bit later in the evening so or afternoon so I'm gonna do this video real quick um, yes this box is currently sold out on HSN if I have any links they'll be for uh, in the future if it comes back and so it'll probably be an affiliate link which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links but um, for right now it's not even on the site usually they'll leave it there sold out but this time they completely pulled it which is a little bit different so I don't know what's going on with that um, you know, and some people said, you know, they see the value. Some people say, oh, the value doesn't seem like it's quite there. And um, what's really got my heart and why I'm like, oh, I don't know what I want to do about this is the um, auto ships. Of course, they're super cute. So, <laughs> and you know how we are. Love my auto ships. So, um, we will see. I know this is one thing Sarah, you know, swore up and down that it will not be something that she brings to her site that this is just for HSN so hopefully they'll bring it back if you guys are still interested because I know a lot of people said they missed it a lot of people say they got it and aren't sure if they're gonna keep it a lot of people said they love it <laughs> like it's all over you know the gamut of emotions one would have here but today like I said I want to do the stocking because I figure it's easy it's something I can cut out I put this card together the last time when I used the embossing folder and all I did was stick the paper down and on the other side I had just trimmed out real quick the um the uh little border of the sun, the sunflowers, snowflakes. And so I just put it together. So I think this is a good card base. This is just your standard A2 size card that I actually just made myself. I didn't even bring it out of the kit here because there are plenty of card bases in the kit. But I'm gonna grab that. Um, so that's gonna be the card base. I'm gonna grab some things to make the little stocking and we'll uh, put it together. Okay guys, you know what I was thinking? I think I just grabbed a scrap piece of paper. So this blue isn't from the kit because this blue does not look like any of the other blues that are in here. So I totally forgot that I had done that. So it may not be the most coordinated stocking. So this is one of the sets of papers, right? From one of the areas there. I'm like, eh, I don't know. And then really, I was like, I can do pattern paper. I guess you can just cut this out with pattern paper and then maybe put the little white topper on this part just so it looks cute. But it seems like all these different pieces are supposed to be made to go on here. So I'm like, hmm. I do have some white here. I'll do that for that top cuff and maybe for the toe in this part. And I'm probably going to get, I'm even thinking of going with just a black on the background. And then this red, the same red as this background, because I do like that red color. So let me grab those colors and, you know, we'll just have to All see. Right, so I cut a piece of black, a piece of white. I'm going to put these papers away, because I guess I won't need these. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you're going to do that, and I hate to waste this paper, because there's only like a few sheets of this right in the kit, but I just need the smallest amount for this piece. So... Hopefully that's enough. And I was even thinking, oh, okay, maybe I can dress them up with like some, just do a little something different than just piece it together. But you know, I think we're just gonna have to piece it together. So, sorry, I don't have anything extra special today to, <laughs> to share with you guys on that front. Uh, let me grab this stuff. We'll put this to the side for now. And then remember the other day when I was unboxing this, um, people were saying, well, maybe it's uh, tinsel, this thing. Or um, I was thinking maybe it's just like the background for a poinsettia. If you look, there's one and there's the other. So it makes a perfect circle. And I suppose you could cut this one and then turn it. So I'm not sure why there are two. At... Do you understand what I'm saying? Like the same one, I can cut it this way and use it on this side and then I can turn it. But I guess you'll have two that one's not turned over, right? Or you can just continue. You don't even have to turn it. But anyway, uh, on your paper, right, when you cut it out. But to me, it's like, okay, maybe for two different sides of a card, you know, sort of like a gatefold. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be tinsel, but who cares? You can use it however you like, of course. Um, and so that, that'll be something we'll have to look at in another video. I do like the ornaments. I do not like that they don't have backings. You know what I'm saying? The ornament's going to be cut out and then you can't put anything <laughs> unless you put little strips of paper behind it to make it look like different colors. So that does kind of bother me. But, um, you know, oh my goodness, I usually get frustrated with these kind of things and just rip them. So we are going to cut a black boot out and then the little tips and the back of the stocking and this little top part. So there's a lot of white on there. You don't have to do anything like I'm showing you here. Um, if you just like, again, want to make the patterned stocking, then just put it on patterned paper. And then I'm going to cut out this pretty part right here. 
in the red. But the reason I think it's a poinsettia like garland um, or something like that, like a wreath, is because um, this little guy is like a little poinsettia flower. And you have this kind of weird jagged holly, you know, I, I don't know. I just think it's more of that kind of thing than anything else. But again, it's your stuff and you can use it however you like. All right, let's see here. So this shouldn't take too long to pop out. And then I think for the sentiment, I'm gonna cut out maybe the Merry Christmas. They do have a word Merry Christmas in there and I would like to try it. It's in the top tier. But I guess once you start messing with this, those tiers are gonna be <laughs> all over the place. So I'm gonna run these through and I will be right back. Actually, y'all can just stay with me. I don't know why. <laughs> the other day I was watching a video. Who was it? I think it was a Spellbinders video. And the girl went to stamp something. And she went to stamp it. And then they cut. And then they came back and it was stamped. And I'm like, okay, did it take too much time to show that she cut it? Or stamped it? Or maybe maybe they switched out the paper. I don't know. But I just thought that was funny. I'm like, that takes no time. Why <laughs> would you cut there? How cute. Look at this. Okay, well, once you have your little guy. But these little pieces that I cut out of it. Oh my gosh, these would be cute for a shaker. Look at the little snowflakes. Very cute. For now, it's going to go in the trash, but very cute for a shaker. Okay, so now I'm going to trim these guys out, and I'll be right back. So yeah, like right now, I'm just into those Nouveau mousses, and I'm like, oh, how can I, can I use a mousse, a mousse? <laughs> Somebody has asked that. They're like, is it mousse? Mousse? <laughs> uh, mousses, I guess, because it's M-O-U-S-S-E, -S -S -E, not M-O-O-S-E. So those are different words. Oh my gosh, the little X's that pop out of there are adorable. All right, let's see this cutie. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of black in the background. And then we have the tip here and the back of the little thing. Let me get rid of that. And then this fancy little top. So if you, like I said, if you wanted to cut this out with pattern paper, the black base, I went with black, but um, it'd be very cute. And I would probably just put the top and then the two tips or just the top. Whenever I've made a stocking like by hand, um, sewn one i always just put a different top or not even that sometimes so it just depends but let me move these things to the side all right oopsie this would be very cute if you had a few of them maybe cut out two or well probably three i always like things in odd numbers but um and put them across your card like they're hanging be very cute so i'm gonna take a minute you know what Oopsie. I will definitely get to the house probably next because I know you guys are very curious about the little house. I was just thinking, is it going to take a lot, a lot of, not a lot of time, but to decorate it, right? That's the part that's going to be, I think, a little more um, time consuming because um, it's all done by hand. I don't think there's anything in the dies that have to do with that little house um, template. And I've had a lot of questions about the little house, the gingerbread house from uh, Diamond Press, so I will try and make another video on that one for you guys. So I was thinking about doing maybe some glittering on this, you know, and stuff like that, but I thought, well, I'll, just, I'll just leave it basic for now. But it'd be very cute to dress this guy up a little more. Oh, so there's only one little stocking. He's kind of sad there. Let me see what else we can cut out. Otherwise, other than, you know, I'm going to get the Merry Christmas out and um, finish okay, up our so I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from the very top of the thing. We have Happy Holidays. We also have uh, Joy to the World. That's cute. I love this little Santa sleigh. Well, like I said, I have other ones that are from Crafters Companion. They're basically the same, but they're so cute. Um... I don't know if I should do this one in black. Since we brought in the black and we have the blue, I'm like, maybe I should bring in more black just so that it makes more sense. So I'm gonna cut this out of black. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring in some of the ribbon. That might add a little more interest. A little something else to that little guy. I was thinking I can make like a ribbon, like a loop. So it looks like a stocking, you know how you hang it. But at the same time, ooh, that's the new hotness right there. Look at that. Just popped out so nice. <laughs> the reason I said that too is my son, you know, he's 19, so I like to act like I know what the kids are saying these days, you know. And uh, I was telling him the other day, I said, What do you guys say, the new hotties? Or what do you, he's like, 
old and busted and new hotness. I'm like, I don't know, I guess. So now I, I know what they, these kids are saying. So we're gonna hang this guy and put this on a little bit high up and then let's get some ribbon. Let me look through the ribbons, I'll be right back. So obviously that blue is just there. I don't have anything else. The ribbon, there are a couple different colors. I don't remember if I went through that um, in the last video. There are different types and different colors in each pack. So each pack has two colors. I think I'm gonna use a smaller one. I literally have no idea what I'm doing right now. I was thinking about making a bow. And like, have I ever showed you the ribbon amount? It's not that much, guys. It's probably enough to make one, maybe two bows out of each one if, if you're lucky. Ah, okay. I was gonna make a bunny ears bow. I usually do that with this kind of thing to make it easy. I can bring out like a bow maker. Actually, the one I got from We Are Memory Keepers is sitting right here, but um, I refuse. All right, let me pull this back this way. So I do bunny ears and then I'll pull it tight and then I'll try to adjust is how I do things like this. And then kind of mess with our bow. I don't know how big I want that. Let me bring this back. Yeah, I just need to add a little something, you know? A little something more. I don't know if I should even put it there. Hmm. I don't know where I want to put this. But this is, I like the bow. I like the size. So that's good. Just tighten that up. Loosen that up a little bit. Oh, come on. Nope, nope, nope. So the bow's gonna take the longest of this whole thing, right? <laughs> Here, I gotta turn this, that's what I gotta do. I can see that one piece is not cooperating. There she goes. There she goes, all right. Something like that. Let me just cut this off so I'm done with this part. And I'm just going to mess with her a little bit. Until I'm happy with where it's going. That's good. We'll try to make the other side puffy. I don't know how she wants to relax. Girl. <laughs> anyway. All right. Maybe we'll just put her on top right here. Okay. So let me think about how I want to glue this down. And it's going to give my mind a little, <laughs> a little thinking. And then I'll be right, right back. Down our Merry Christmas words. I'm just gonna put glue on the back of my hand. And basically I'm just gonna glue it the way I thought I was going to. <laughs> I just wasn't too sure. So we're gonna see that. I like that this is all stuck together in one piece. I like that the eye is stuck to the, or the dot and the eye is stuck to the eye. It drives me nuts when you have to keep track of your little, your little stuff like that. So we're gonna press that down, wipe my hand off. I keep wanting to wipe it on my shirt. I should not wipe it on my shirt. And then we got Christmas in July, and then we'll put this stuff away. I know a lot of people, not a lot of people, some people have already done their cards and things, but that's way ahead of sketch for me. <laughs> ay, ay. Okay, oh, I like that. Again, let's pretend that this was, um, hmm, I don't know what color it should be. Maybe green or something like that, right? If you're gonna stay with the Christmas theme, maybe a green, even though it's snowflakes, but I think it's okay for now. This bow is driving me nuts, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue. This glue dries clear and I'm gonna stick it right there. Again, 3D glue gel would work also. I'm gonna hold that down for a little while after I finish up here. I'll have some pictures for you guys super quick. Um, if you have any other questions, I will get to them. I know we're, we, everybody's asking about the house, so we'll do the house. Um, we'll try out some of the other dies, of course. I want to pretty much try all the dies in this set. So I really like that Santa Claus uh, with his little sled, so we'll do that one. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. A quick little video, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.